Hi everyone, this is Camille. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a creative graphic transition like this. You can add this cool transition effect to any of your videos. If you're interested in this, keep watching. To make a graphic transition effect like this, at least we need to prepare two video clips and one transparent image clip with green vertical line. To get a better result, we can add some sound effects and music clips. After getting this stuff prepared, let's open up Video Prog Flagger and start the edits. First, we import all the files we need to Video Prog Flagger. Then we add a video number one onto the video track. Adjust its duration. Then let's add a green screen clip onto the overlay track. Go to the inspector panel on the right and choose Fit to Screen Height. Then we click on here to enter the motion editor. We need to add a move to right and a gradually zoom in effect to the green screen video. Click here to add a first keyframe. Then like this, we make the selection box cover the area outside of the green screen. Then we add a second keyframe at this point. And move the selection box to the middle. Last, we add the last keyframe at the end. And now we scale down the selection box so the entire screen shows green colors. Let's take a preview. The motion looks a little bit unnatural. Let's choose to speed down as the speed mode for the previous two keyframes. And set to smooth speed up number two for the last keyframe. Take a look. Hmm, it looks much better. Next, we make the duration of the video number one and the green screen clip the same. Then we go to the motion editor again. Now we add a first keyframe at this point and keep the default selection range. Then we add a second keyframe at the end and scale down the selection box. Next, we change the speed mode to speed up for these two. Take a preview. Nice work. Next, let's export this video. To make everything more clear, let's call it the video number 3. After exporting it, let's add it to Video Proc Flagger. Now we remove all the clips on the timeline. Then we add a video number 2 to the video track Add a video number 3 onto the overlay track. Choose Fit to Screen Height on the Inspector panel. The green screen clip now blocks the video number 2. Let's go to the Inspector panel, scroll down to find the green screen, and select Enabled. 
We can now see the video number two on the window. Let's take a playback. Hmm, we've almost there. To make the effect look more natural, we can add the video number two with a scale up effect. Select the video number two, hit motion. Add a keyframe at this point. Here, we show the video in original state. Next, let's add a second keyframe at this point. Adjust the selection box to get a zoom in effect. The locations of these two keyframes should be similar to that of the keyframes of the video number one. This can make the motion in two videos feel more natural. Last, let's add a keyframe at the end. And choose Speed Up as a speed mode for all keyframes. Alright, we've made a graphics transition effect. It's really easy to do, isn't it? You can add a graphic transition to any video clips you have. Try it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest video editing tutorials. You can also go to our homepage to learn how to create more awesome effects. See you in our next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!